Anastasia, and today I'm here to clean out my closet again because one time wasn't enough apparently. See exhibit A, B, C, D, E, F. Geez, how long is this gonna go on? <laughs> you might be thinking, Katia, why do you have so many clothes? And that's a great point. Um, the answer is because I have no self-control, but also I do have a clothing shop on Depop. So if you want to buy something new and snazzy, you can help me with my clothing addiction. So I won't hold you any longer. Let's start decluttering. First off, I thought we could begin with my main closet, which holds most of the hanging items that I have and also the things I wear the most often. Now, if you want to see a more in-depth analysis and some try-on clips on whatever is in here, you can check out my last closet clean out because that is what the video revolves around but this time I kind of wanted to pick out the things that I kept last time but now I'm feeling kind of iffy about so we can go through those together this dress is the love of my life I will never get rid of this one this one however is not my favorite I'm not really a fan of t-shirt dresses but I do like the corset belt that it comes with I think this could be a great accessory then I have this yellow dress although I do really like the silhouette it is a little bit big on me and I actually do have other yellow floral dresses so I think I might have to let this one go this is a dress I bought from forever 21 I think seven or eight years ago but it's still in pretty good shape and I love the 50s look it has it has these like cut open sleeves and it has oh my god this, my hanger just broke it also has an open back and I just love the little ice cream pattern so I will be keeping this one this is the dress that just broke my hanger so rude didn't even ask me if i was okay with that i like how it's over the shoulder i think this is a really good evening dress for the winter time because of the heaviness of the material here we have two of what might be my favorite dresses in my closet these are a pastel soft girl y2k dream the little people in this renaissance art are like wearing bikinis and talking on the phone and they have like heart-shaped sunglasses on i honestly might have to put this dress on display because it's just too beautiful to be put away in a closet and this one has some beautiful rhinestones this is one of my favorite kind of silhouettes this is a dress i bought and i was like oh i'm gonna sell it but then i put it on and then girl so unfortunately we'll not be selling this one but if you're me that's great news for you because we're gonna wear it this one actually like my heart stopped when i put this one on it is 100 percent silk oh look at that Look at that swing, oh my god. And then this one is one of my favorite maxi dresses. It's in this beautiful autumnal color scheme and it is a tiered design and you can just like walk around and do this while you're in it. And that is a very important thing to consider when you're buying dresses, if you can walk around and slap people with it. Next, I have these two very similar dresses, but this one is a lot bigger on me than I would like it to be. But this one is a very similar and it actually has an empire waist, so it's much more flattering i have all these skirts that i wear all the time and then i have this little guy who always sneaks past my closet clean outs because i'm like oh it has pockets it's this dark green color it, it'll look so good with academia type clothes and then i put it in my closet and just never look at it again so this time you are not getting past me sir then i just have 15 of the same skirts nothing new to see here and then i just have three more of the same skirt um again no big deal you don't have to worry about it i'm just gonna keep these in here um for hiding for um safekeeping i don't have many longer skirts so i think why do i keep lying i just keep lying i have so many of everything these pants i decided to keep in my last closet clean out but I haven't worn them since then, so I think that's a good sign that I should probably get rid of them. Although, don't get me wrong, I am still a clown. I just can't really see myself wearing these again. And then, I honestly don't have much to say about these guys. I love a good plaid pant, and I will continue to love them and wear them as I do every autumn and winter, even. Same thing goes for these skirts. I think they're all in very unique patterns. Might have to reorganize these, but I'm gonna keep all of them. Okay, so we've made a lot of progress here. We are getting rid of a lot more than I expected. So now I'm just
just gonna reorganize this based on category. I know a lot of people color code their clothes, so I just wanted to give you a good reason as to why you maybe shouldn't do that. I heard this in, I think, a YouTube video once. I don't remember who said it, but basically, when you wake up in the morning, do you think, oh, I wanna wear orange today? Or do you think, wow, the weather's kind of chilly, maybe I should wear a long sleeve, or I kind of want to wear a backless top because it's kind of nice outside. So most often you're going to reach for items based more on the category of item rather than the color. So it makes more sense to organize your closet based on sleeve length and clothing item type. Here is usually where I store bags. So I want these hangers to have enough room where they don't get squished by clothes so I can't see my bags because that was the issue before which is what prompted this closet cleanup. So I'm going to see if I can get rid of any bags although I severely doubt that. I honestly don't have that many. Depends how many bags is too many. First up we have the longer strap bags. This one is a very simple one. It's just a plain black little mini bag. Another long strap bag with a very simple silver chain detail. One of my favorite bags. It's a lot more roomy than the smaller black one. And my last two bags with the longer straps. This one was a souvenir and I have gotten a lot of wear out of it but I haven't really used this in two years so there's one bag I can get rid of. Now this one does have a longer strap but it can actually be tucked away inside. This one is versatile and it has this like beautiful beading and embroidery in the front so this one will have to be kept. Okay so the first level is looking good. Next up we have my go-to bag. I love the Y2K vibe going on. I'm not really like a snakeskin person but this bag I think me and it have a special connection. I have three of essentially the same bag. This one has a black and multicolor vibe. This one is just pink and beaded and then this one is very renaissance i honestly don't see myself getting rid of them they are too special how intricate the beading is makes me want to cry like it's just so beautiful i think it was done by hand we have this one that i actually got at a museum of all places i love the dusty blue color and embroidery that it has of cherry blossoms so definitely a keeper then we have two more little mini bags this one is a cottage core moment and then we have this cute little pink bag that goes with my pastel outfits with the gold chain. Welcome to my rack. Welcome to my clothing rack. This one has some of the neutral pieces that I don't plan on getting rid of. They're very basic. I just think they look nice with the color scheme of my room. I also have some stuff that I'm selling on Depop that I recently bought. So I won't be getting rid of any of these, but I was thinking of maybe changing up the color scheme, doing a little bit of a pastel moment. Next up, we have to tackle this area of the rack, which includes my jewelry, which is down here. So we are going to be organizing that and hopefully making this space a little bit less cluttered. So, so far we've done maybe one third of my room. It's still very messy in here. So I might have to come back to this tomorrow because both my camera and social batteries are dying. I will see you in the same exact spot again tomorrow. Welcome back. It is the next day and yesterday when I finished filming, I very conveniently left out the monstrosity that is the rest of my room and you can see a little sneak peek in the mirror here but this basically includes the drawers that I have for storage underneath my bed, the one chair that holds my clothing when I go to sleep in my bed, and a suitcase that I still have not unpacked from when I went on vacation two weeks ago. We are going to tackle that today. Let's do it! So here's the game plan. This drawer basically 
category holds my home and workout clothing, while this one holds most of my going out tops. So I thought it would be a good idea to switch them around because this one doesn't really open all the way because there is a desk in front of it. So I reach for that one, although I don't always make it way more than I do for this one. So I think it makes a lot of sense to switch them around. So I'm going to quickly go through all of my home and workout clothing because that's like not as interesting because it's literally just big old t-shirts from like seven years ago from my middle school that I have no other purpose for except wearing to bed. And I will also be <laughs> incorporating the stuff on this chair <laughs> so I can basically sort through all of them at the same time. tops drawer I do have an embarrassing amount of TLTs also known as tiny little tops I love me a good little top big pant combo these are a staple in my closet I keep a lot of my crop tops in this little organizer thing as for the longer chunkier tops those will just go right in the drawer so starting off with long sleeve tops first up we have this little black and red stripe moment very Freddy Krueger very Halloween super spooky 10 out of 10 definitely keeping this one another striped top but this is the OG black and white striped long sleeve turtleneck definitely a closet staple if you're into modern aesthetic fashion if you want to learn more about the types of aesthetics and how to achieve them definitely check out my internet style playlist I'll link it in the cards and in the description so I have about 9,000 mesh tops but what can I say they're a great layering piece moving on to short sleeve shirts I have this one that says dump him on the front this is one of my favorite graphic t-shirts if you were looking for a sign here it is this top is just surprisingly very good quality I've had it for almost five years now and it's still going very strong I just love the design I love me a good rainbow shirt another variation on rainbow this one is a color block crop top I love the primary colors and a mix of green in there not only do I have this baby tee I also have this baby tee I cannot tell you the amount of times I needed like a basic top because everything else in my outfit was too loud. I don't know if you can tell, but I gravitate a lot towards bright colors and crazy patterns. So I like having these kind of items to ground me a little bit. Then we have this Brandy Melville square neck top. Now, while this is a really beautiful design and super flattering on the chest, I've definitely kept this for way too long just because it costs a lot, but it's time to let her go. Good night, sweet prince. I, I, I don't know, I don't know. This crop turtleneck has like this weird like loose mock neck so it just looks kind of unflattering and it is pretty old so I think I could definitely live without it. Here's a rainbow top I actually won't be keeping. I do love how cute this top is but it's unfortunately not my style anymore. Alright so now I'm just gonna fold and organize everything and I'll see you at the next closet because I have even more closets. <laughs> Welcome to the shoe corner. The first culprit is this lovely pair of silver glitter platform Oxfords. Now I'm not really an Oxford girl myself and these ones are a bit too jazzy for my taste. These sandals I bought a few years ago just for like going to the beach and simple things like that but these are very worn out so we're gonna have to yeet her. These are a unique pair that I thrifted. They have these like leaves or flowers suspended in a clear heel. They don't really go with a lot. I have the same issue with these as I have with the disco platforms. So I think I'm gonna have to donate these. These platform sandals are beautiful. They're super Y2K. They have like this strappy front and I really love them. But unfortunately I broke one of the straps while walking. Plus they're not comfortable either. So I think I could probably justify getting rid of them. Although I'm pretty sure I could fix this with hot glue. I'm not gonna try because I think it's just a sign from the universe that I should get rid of these. These are my Air Force Ones. These are three years old, but I've worn them I think almost every single day since I bought them. So these are definitely a great investment. I do actually also have another pair of Air Force Ones. These are the Sage AF1 platforms, but I think I'm gonna get rid of both of these and then repurchase these because they are more comfortable out of the two and they serve the same purpose anyway. These sneakers are another favorite of mine because they have this beautiful iridescent glitter on them however they have this kind of like dark glue leaking out from where the glitter is staying on so i can definitely get rid of these as well it does break my heart a little bit because i don't know if i can repurchase these but 
I think it's just the end of an era. This is a pair in my closet I will not be getting rid of. Even though it is very extreme and crazy, these are the only shoes that I have that look like this. And they have this like little lock and they actually came with a key that you can put inside the lock and it unlocks the lock and you can take it off. And they are surprisingly comfortable, so these I'm definitely keeping. And then I have this pair of burgundy Tom. When I was working an unnamed retail job, I accidentally wore a Converse on one foot and an Air Force One on the other. And I somehow did not notice until I got to my job and my coworker was like, did you do that on purpose? The shoes are both different heights. But basically on my 10 minute break, I rushed out to the store next door to buy these Toms and they unfortunately did not come in my size. Although I do use them here and there, they're not exactly a staple in my closet. So I think I can let go of these as well. I think the rest of my shoes I wear quite often. So we can just go ahead and put those back inside. Last up, we have this closet, which also doesn't open all the way because of my desk. Yes, I know I placed the desk at not a good place, but my room is small and this is the only way I could not have my bed on top of my desk. We're working with what we got here. Now, I will be fast forwarding through the majority of this closet because I did go into more detail and go through everything and try everything on in my last closet cleanup. So I'm just gonna go through it really quick and reorganize it. So that is my closets all cleaned out. I definitely feel much lighter after getting rid of all this stuff. And I'm also very happy that my clothes will hopefully get some new life and go to people who will enjoy them much more than I do. If you're interested in purchasing anything I talked about in this video, definitely check out my Depop. It's at underscore Katia. For more closet clean out content, make sure you check out this video next. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.